Hello friends, welcome to another episode of Science For You. In today's video, I am going to show you how to make a Bluetooth controlled car, which also has obstacle avoidance feature. The car can be controlled to go forward, backward, left and right using Bluetooth from a mobile phone. But, this car also has an obstacle avoidance feature. While moving forward, if the car detects an obstacle, it automatically changes direction and thus avoiding the obstacle. Please do subscribe to my channel to watch interesting projects in future. Thank you. Now let us learn how to make this Bluetooth controlled car with obstacle avoidance feature. For this project, you need two numbers of geared motors, two numbers of 65mm diameter wheels, Arduino Uno board, L298 10 motor driver module, HCSR04 ultrasonic sensor, HC05 Bluetooth module, SG90 servo motor and a caster wheel as the main components. The caster wheel has a ball inside it which can roll in any direction. First, take a plywood board and cut into the shape as shown. Also make two holes for the motor wires to pass through and also for fixing the caster wheel. The drawing template for the plywood is given in the description box. First, we have to fix the two motors on either sides as shown in the video. Now, fix the wheels on both the motors. Take the positive and negative wires of both the motors through the hole from below to the top. Now, we have to fix the caster wheel at the front. Providing a caster wheel at the front helps the robot to quickly change direction, since it has a ball that can roll in any direction. Now, fix the battery pack, L298 10 motor driver and the Arduino board as shown. Fix the SG90 servo motor module. Also fix the ultrasonic sensor on the servo motor module. All the parts are now fixed. It is time to give the electrical connections. First, connect the positive terminal from the battery to the positive input terminal of the motor driver board and negative terminal from the battery to the ground terminal of the motor driver board. Connect two jumper wires also along with it, which will be required for powering the Arduino board. Now connect the jumper wire connected to the positive battery terminal to V and pin of the Arduino board. Connect the other jumper wire to ground pin of the Arduino board. Now, connect the electrical wires from both the motors to the motor driver module as shown. Take four jumper wires and connect them to pin numbers 4, 5, 6 and 7. Connect the other end to the motor direction control pins of the motor driver board, as shown. Connect another jumper wire to the ultrasonic sensor. Connect the echo pin of the ultrasonic sensor to pin number 8 of the Arduino board, trigger pin of the ultrasonic sensor to pin number 9 of the Arduino board, VCC pin of the sensor to plus 5 volt pin of the Arduino board and ground pin of the Arduino sensor to ground pin of the Arduino board. 
Now connect jumper cable to the servo motor. Connect the signal cable, orange wire, from the servo motor to pin number 10 of the Arduino board, power cable, red wire, 2 plus 5 volt pin of the Arduino board and ground cable, black wire, to ground pin of the Arduino board. It is now time to connect the HC05 Bluetooth module. Take a jumper wire and connect transmitter pin of the Bluetooth module to pin number 11 of Arduino, and receiver pin of the Bluetooth module to pin number 12 of the Arduino board. Now connect the power and ground pins of the Bluetooth module to the positive and negative terminals of the battery as shown. I am doing this since all the plus 5 volt and ground pins available in the Arduino board are already connected. Now stick a plastic tube as an antenna and place the Bluetooth module in the antenna for better signal reception. The batteries have to be now installed in the battery pack. The connections are completed. Now we have to connect the Arduino to PC or laptop using a new SP cable and upload the code. The code can be downloaded from the link given in the description. Now download the software from Play Store using the link given in description. Search for Bluetooth devices and connect to HC05 module. Use pin 1234, while pairing for the first time. Let us now test the working of the Bluetooth controlled car. The car can be controlled to go forward, backward, left and right using Bluetooth from a mobile phone. But, this car also has an obstacle avoidance feature. While moving forward, if the car detects an obstacle, it automatically changes direction and thus avoiding the obstacle. If you have liked the video, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel to watch more interesting experiment and DIY projects in future. Thank you.